The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Bronchial thermoplasty is a treatment where during a bronchoscopy or an inspection of the bronchial tubes, we place an electrical current into the bronchial tubes to disrupt some of the airway smooth muscle. Now, with bad asthma, we, we know that there is a lot of inflammation of the surface layer of the bronchial tubes, but over the course of time, the airway smooth muscle, the muscle that actually provides, that actually constricts during an asthma attack, the airway smooth muscle gets bigger and bigger, almost like your muscles get bigger when you work out. Most people with very bad asthma have their muscles and their airways get bigger and bigger. And so with thermoplasty, we go down and by using an electrical current, we're able to actually make that muscle smaller. It's not very invasive. It does not involve any kind of blood or any knife or anything like that. Just a simple electrical current that's applied to the airways helps to reduce the airway, the airway smooth muscle. Bronchial thermoplasty is not for all asthmatics. Asthmatics who have very good control of their disease don't, frankly don't need it. And asthmatics who are happy with their control don't need it. But asthmatics who are particularly severe or those moderate asthmatics who are frequently in the emergency room or have frequent attacks or are on so much medicine that their quality of life is poor, those are the ones who really would benefit the most from this type of treatment. During the treatment, we do bronchoscopy which is where we um, place a scope down into the airways. We look around and make sure that we're in the right areas. And we pass a wire down, that, um, down the scope into the airways to treat them. Now this makes most asthmatics flare up somewhat. And so right afterwards, they do feel a little bit worse for about a week. And so we keep people on steroids and we treat them as if they're having an asthma attack. Most people tolerate this very, very well, and we try and get them in their best condition right before, the, right before that. Um, most people who have it can expect a three-treatment course over the course of nine weeks, and after that, their airways should heal, and they should feel a whole lot better about a month after the treatment ends. Not all hospitals provide bronchial thermoplasty. This is a specialized procedure that requires special training and special equipment. And so it really should be done in a, in a tertiary or a referral medical center, um, such as UT Medical Center. Right now, we're the only hospital in, the, in East Tennessee that provides bronchial thermoplasty. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865 305 6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.